since Thursday. <sighs> Drinking. Seriously. Uh, but I hope you're still coming uh, over later. I'm busy. Doing what? Dying. What? Nothing. to look after. We'll bring him with you. Oh, fine. Thank you. I'll see you later. Mm. Don't be late. See you. Hey, Tina. So you finally decided to ring me back? How many times do I have to call you, for you to answer your phone? I've been calling you since Friday. Where have you been? You see, I'm decent enough to answer your calls, but you're rude enough to ignore me. I've been busy. Doing what? Drinking. Listen, you're not doing anything with your life. You're not working. All you do is drink and laze about when you've got a son that you barely seem to be supposed to take care of. I do everything myself. When you're supposed to support me and my child, How's he going to grow up right with no father figure, Chris? You're supposed to be a good role model to him. How is he meant to look up to you if you're not even there? Were you even listening? Not really. You see how rude you are? I don't even know why I have to leave sometimes. You think that's cute? Well... <laughs> you look nice. You were right. I ought to see him more. What do you want, Chris? I just want to see him. You think you can come over here with flowers and I'll just let oh, you have Matthew? No. These aren't for you. Then who are they for? They're for my mum. It's a birthday today. I thought it would be nice for him to visit her. I just want him to see her. Matty? Yeah? Get your stuff, please. I want him back tomorrow, in one piece. Yeah, got it. See you later, sweetie. Mwah. Have fun, yeah? I love you. Love you too. Have a good time. Oh, I love you too. Bye, love. Where are we going? To a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? My mother's. She dead? What? Mum says people make flowers when they're going on a date. Oh, when someone's dead, they show love respect. <laughs> did she? Sometimes men come over while she's out. She tells them they're sweet. Yeah, well, your mother does say a lot of things. She also says she drink a lot. Matty, do your laces up. Well, they were very well, do them again. Stand up.
Chris. Good to see you both. Come in. Come in. Here you go. Oh, good, you made it. Hey, sis. Dinner's almost ready. Pete, can you take their jackets, please? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, let me uh, take that. Oh, these flowers for me. Is it your birthday? Nope. Then they're not for you. Matt, can we have a set? Oh, they're lovely. Are they for granny? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> you know Mum doesn't like flowers. I know. So why did you buy them? And what did you get her? I cooked dinner. So? Oh, you're an idiot. Who's an idiot? Oh, Chris? Hey, Hi, good to see you yeah. all. And who's this handsome chap you brought here? With Matthew. You? <laughs> Hello, Matthew, but those for me. Is it your birthday? It is, yes. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> no, I hate flowers. Just like your father. Come on, Matthew, let's see if we can find you some chocolate. Bless him. He's a good kid. You're lucky to have him. Yeah, well, you can't have him because his mother would kill me. Don't worry, Jen and I are working on one of our own. Been trying really hard lately. She, I don't know where she gets the energy from. She's just incredible. I mean, she gets back home and she's straight into it, you know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to know that about my sister. Yeah, sorry, it's just... Sometimes I, I struggle to keep up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mum. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you all. It's so lovely. Hmm. There we are. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Chris. There we are. Oh, thanks, darling. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, thank you, Pete. Thank you. From Jen as well. <laughs> she knows. Are you all right with the wrapping, Mum? Oh. Yes, I'm fine. No, it's I'm all right, fine. give it here, I'll help you. No, I'm fine. Yeah. Honey, I've changed a nappy till he was 11 years old. I'm sure I can manage a bit of wrapping paper. I'm sure Jen wasn't suggesting that you're not capable, honey. It's fine, too, obviously. Oh, thank you, Jenny. This is beautiful. Thank you very much, Pete. Thank you both. It's really lovely, thank you. Chris? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Are you going to give Mum your present? Um, no. Oh, typical. I'm sure Chris has got something really special organised, haven't you, Chris? <laughs> so, how's the job hunt going, Chris? Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Have you got a job yet? Not really. Why not? I just don't feel like it. Oh, really? I'm surprised. <laughs> well, you could afford me. Well, we were thinking as you're doing nothing with your life at the moment, then maybe you could move in here with Mum. It'll be great. You'll be able to live here rent-free, find a job, you'll keep each other company. Well, me and Pete were talking about it. It'd be good for you to help out a little. Just think of the money you'd save on yeah. your rent and... You know, you just think, oh, God, no one so asked for your opinion, Pete. Are you serious, Jen? Chris, we've spoken about this before. You know I don't always have time to see Mum. What, so I have to do it? Is that why you keep asking me down here every year? Just so that I can get trapped here with Mum? No offence, Mum. It's OK. I'm just looking out for her. <laughs> Mum's fine. Just because she struggles with a bit of wrapping paper doesn't mean that she's dying. You're neglecting the fact that she's old. No offence, Mum. But anything could happen to her. And it'd be nice for you to actually do something for a change. Here you go. Chris, it's been seven years. 
you're still unemployed, you're still drinking alone in your apartment. Do you really think that's the way to react when you've got a child? What, so shacking up with your lecturer, that's the right way to react? What, and then getting married to them? Because that's absolutely, completely normal. Oh, <laughs> but when I drink, oh, that's when everything goes wrong. All I'm saying is it'll be easy if you move in here with mum. You'll be able to help each other out, you can keep each other company, and are you even listening to me? Stop drinking! Well, I'm pretty good at it, so why should I stop? Why are you being so difficult? It's fine. Well, let me be more responsible like you. Because it is so easy to be like you and to have a boring job and a boring husband in your boring little life. Because life is so easy! You've had seven years, Chris! Seven years! It's no excuse! Now, Mum needs help and you've got the time, so why don't you be a good little boy and look after your mother? <laughs> What? I said make me! Why are you such a child? You're so difficult, even your own son acts more mature than you and he's 13! See? And God forbid he turns out anything like you! Well, no, uh, no, come... Uh, oh, uh, Jenny! Oh, oh, well done, Chris! Once again, proving how reckless you really are! Well, you're the one acting like a complete psycho! Fuck you! Oh, <laughs> fuck you! Enough! I'm sick of hearing you two bickering like five-year-olds! You're both grown adults, at least act like it. Have you both forgotten it's my birthday and that we come together every year to remember your poor father? Can we at least do that in a peace, please? Don't patronize me, I'm not a child. Oh, whatever. Circumstances, maybe not the greatest idea, Jen. We're nothing like him, are we, Pitts? I didn't mean. Look, I'm going to pour myself one. Do you want one? No, I'm going right, to stick with see water. children, Pete, not like us. But you've got to let him find his own way. I mean, we can't keep interfering in his life. Look, we've just tried again and look what happened. But I'm just looking out for Mum. <sighs> Ever since Dad died, he's just, he's just given up on himself and it's affecting everybody around him, even Matthew. Look, we're not all the same. We're not all as strong as you. Confucius, he said, all trees heal differently and take time to grow. Yeah? I know, I know you're right. What would I do without you? Well, <laughs> for one thing, <laughs> you'd probably have less exercise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matthew? You, yeah, you forgot this. Oh, thank you. Where's your father? I don't know. To you. Do you want a drink? <laughs> oh yeah. You don't drink because you're a ghost and you don't like me drinking from your flask. But who cares? <sighs> you know, it's not easy being me. 
people asking me to do things, making me do stuff that I don't want to do. Don't give me that look. She was just being as childish as I was, thinking that she can just tell people what to do. Why did you have to leave that? Why can't you just not be dead and make life hard for me? Everything changed. Jen's changed, Mum's changed, I've changed, and you know it, and I know it, because you give me that same look every time I do something stupid or selfish. The same look that tells me that you're disappointed, that I should do better and look out for others, and it hurts every time. Because I want you to be there to tell me off. But you left me. You left me when I needed you the most. When I needed someone to look out for me and teach me how to look out for my boy. I was never capable of being a father. And I needed you to show me. you were alive so I could hug you right now. I wish it was me. Instead of who? Nothing. No one. Who were you talking to? No one. I was just thinking out loud. You were pretty loud. <laughs> was I? Sorry. Yeah. I didn't know you could hear me from the house. Are you drunk? What? No, of course not. Then why did he have that? This. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a flask that my dad gave me before he died. He never drank from it. <laughs> he just kept it in the cabinet with all his valuable things. And he said whenever he was sad, he would just take it out, look at it, and it would remind him that all the people around him were what made him happy, and not what was inside this. Do you miss him? Every day. Mum says when people are sad, you should give them a hug or give them some chocolate. <laughs> should we go get you some chocolate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for everything that I did and didn't do. Thank you for everything that you did. <laughs>